Bangalore, the Silicon Valley of India, has been experiencing devastating effects of climate change in recent years. The city has seen a drastic reduction in the number of trees and green spaces, leading to an increase in concentration of air pollutants, extreme heat waves and erratic rainfall patterns. We, Team Aurum, aim to combat climate change with our proposal of a net zero energy water educational institute for Rays Academy for Learning. Our site is located in Uttarali region of Bangalore city and includes the existing Raffle Montessori school block. The 6 acre site has a dense coconut tree cover and has been divided into two phases for development. The design process began with mapping out all trees on site in order to integrate the trees with the built spaces. The placement of blocks on site was determined by areas of least tree density. The masses were split according to function and oriented according to prevailing wind direction. Inward looking corridors with alternating courts create a porous floor plate. A total number of 36 classrooms, library, labs and other extracurricular spaces have been provided. The classrooms are in two blocks accommodating 30 students each. Classroom block 1 consists of 5 floors and each floor was divided into 6 classrooms of 8 by 8 meters each. The classrooms are provided with an exterior balcony space to reduce heat gain while also providing natural light and cross ventilation. The main entrance leads into a shaded space consisting of seating and a pathway with energy generating tiles. The central courtyard creates an interactive zone for students from various grades. It also forms a central circulation in the unbuilt spaces. The curved staggered balconies maintain visual connect between the floors and towards the central courtyard. The facade is lined with colorful louvered panels and terracotta jali screens to regulate daylighting and reduce heat gains. Green roof helps in reducing heat gain through the roof. The terraces are dedicated to solar panels which are angled southwards to receive maximum sunlight thus generating enough energy to make our school energy positive. Energy performance. Our building achieved net positive status through passive design, envelope optimization, efficient fixtures and renewable energy like energy generating tiles and solar panels. Taking advantage of the coconut trees on site, we have an innovative use for coconut husk as a water filter. Through passive design strategies, our classrooms fall within the recommended comfort band temperatures during the school year, thus removing the need for air conditioning in the classrooms. Achieving a net zero status for this school not only benefits our project partner but also educates its students on various strategies that contribute to an efficient net zero building. This school would set an example and show the scope for net zero status for other educational institutes. Thank you.